Hey everyone! Very recently, the developers at MainWP have been eager to announce a neat addition to the MainWP extension suite. This new addition is called the MainWP Bulk Settings Manager and I can already imagine that you must be wondering what the extension stands for. Simply put, the Bulk Settings Manager extension allows you to adjust the settings of nearly any plugin, theme or WordPress core settings across different sites in one go. Just imagine being able to alter the settings of multiple WordPress sites to a single main WP wide setting without having to visit all of those sites individually. With the main WP bulk settings manager extension, this is now a reality. The main WP bulk settings manager extension works based on keys. These keys can be either created semi automatically or manually using the main WP keymaker plugin. The main WP Keymaker plugin basically detects the changes in the settings that you submit. In some cases, these keys may require a bit of tweaking, but it allows you to tell the Bulk Settings Manager extension what settings to transfer to all of the selected child websites. In this example, we will be adjusting a series of WordPress settings across all of my child sites. Make sure that you have the main WP Bulk Settings Manager extension and the main WP Keymaker plugin installed on your main WP dashboard site. Also, don't forget to check that they are actually activated. In this example, what I want to do is that I want to apply the same settings that I have for my dashboard and apply those to all of my child websites. So the first step is to actually go to the settings. Let's say the idea that I have in mind is that I want the same date and time format and apply those to all of my websites. What we basically do is that we go and change the selected settings and press save changes. The next thing we do is that we click on main WP Keymaker, which is on top of the screen. In this screen, we want to collect some code, and in this case, that would be the post submission request. Simply double click on the code to copy it and close the screen. Now, we actually need to go to the MainWP Bulk Settings Manager extension. Simply navigate to MainWP Extensions Bulk Settings Manager. The next step is to actually import the key that we created in the Keymaker. We can do so by pressing the button Import Keys from Keymaker. In this screen, you will actually notice that you have to name your key and enter the required code. To enter the code, simply select the field, press Ctrl V, and apply the changes by pressing Make the Key. The following screen is basically a way to review the form that you just submitted. You can actually verify whether the changes were done accordingly. You can even add extra fields in case the key maker didn't capture one of them. Because my intention is to alter more settings than just the general setting, I will be creating a key ring. The neat thing about key rings is that you can actually group the settings and the keys that belong to them. For example, the WordPress core settings basically exists of different divisions. When we create a key for each of these divisions, we can group those settings by means of a key ring. In this case, I will be naming my key ring the WordPress settings. After naming your key ring, simply press save key. As you can see, our key ring is now listed in the key ring section. So now let's add some more settings to our newly created key ring. Let's say we want to adjust the permalinks. Simply select the desired changes and press save changes. After having saved the changes, we again go to the main WP keymaker and copy the post submission request. Once the code is copied, we again go to main WP extensions bulk settings manager. Again, we import the key. I personally prefer to sticking to conventions because that makes it easier to look back at what the key actually stands for. Again, in the code section, simply click the field and press control V to paste the code. We conclude by pressing make the key. As you can see, we're back at the key overview in which we can see whether the form has been saved correctly. This is also the place where we can select the key ring we want to add the newly created key to. After selecting WordPress settings, simply press save key.
Our third key could, for example, be the post limit. Let's say we want to increase the post limit to 20 posts. After altering the settings to our wishes, we simply click on Save Changes. It should be easy by now. We again click on MainWP Keymaker, copy the top code, close the screen, go to MainWP Extensions Bulk Settings Manager. We import the keys from the Keymaker, press the field and press Control V to copy the code, and we name the key. and conclude by pressing make the key. In this screen, we basically want to add the settings to the key ring we created. So make sure you select WordPress settings and click save key. When we go to the key rings overview and select the WordPress settings, we will notice that there are now three keys saved in this key ring. The cool thing is that we can actually select the key ring and select the desired child sites that you want it to be applied to. In my case, I'm going to select all of the child sites. The only thing in between applying the settings to all of the child sites is a simple button. When you're ready, simply click Save Key Ring to the selected child sites. If you happen to see this screen pop up, simply press OK to continue. And that would be all. Most MainWP users will probably recognize the way the extension works based on other MainWP elements. Should you get stuck in any way, however, please refer to support.mainwp.com. For those of you who are wondering how to obtain the MainWP Bulk Settings Manager extension, simply visit extensions.mainwp.com. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you're having a great day or evening, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye.